Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Armstrong, and we're going to swing one of the good old good ones for you. Since its opening in the spring of 2010, the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center's Gallery 110 has produced groundbreaking exhibitions that have highlighted the rich history, culture, and talent of Prince George's County. Through this musical montage, you will see how the stories shared in each of the last five exhibitions also represent a more nuanced understanding of the larger African American social and cultural experience. The exhibitions will be presented in chronological order from the 1600s through today, accompanied by performances of popular music from each era. When Israel was in Egypt land, let my A Struggle for Dignity is an exhibition that visually explores the institution of slavery and its after effects in Prince George's County through the artwork of county resident Curtis G. Woody. Curtis Woody designed each of the 23 pieces that are featured in this powerful exhibition with a quilt-like background. He layered them with reprints of historical images dealing with slavery. The result is a unique and informative exploration of the experience of slavery in Prince George's County. The kids, I want them to learn something. I want them to, to go and maybe pick up a book and do further reading on the, on the subject. I want them to be able to feel some of what uh, our forefathers went through. A Space of Their Own is an exhibition that celebrates the pioneering spirit of the four original majority African-American towns incorporated in Prince George's County, Maryland. North Brentwood, Eagle Harbor, Fairmont Heights, and Glenard. These towns were formed during times of segregation and struggle during the early 1920s and 30s. A Space of Their Own featured four installations that identified each area's individual character and contribution to the modern culture of Prince George's County. The exhibition recognizes the power of shared commitment to create thriving African-American communities. Each has persevered. And today, they are a living testament to the will of their founders. Some came out of Washington, D.C., and then we had others who came out of Southern Maryland. We began to know each other, and the towns, uh, the people, became close. Everybody took care of everybody. We never wanted for anything. We never knew we were poor. We embraced our um, youth. Mm -hmm. We embraced our seniors. We were determined to make it and make a better place for us to raise our families. So it was that kind of atmosphere that uh, started um, in most of the African-American communities. It was a wonderful opportunity for families to get started, and especially for African-Americans. The blacker this community became demographically, the higher the educational attainment level and the higher the affluence level. Should take, 
Coming Home highlighted the contributions of African Americans in the American military during World War II. It explored how these veterans affected the culture of the county after their return from the war abroad during the late 1940s and 1950s. This exhibition featured pictures, artifacts, and memorabilia, but most importantly, it featured the stories of black soldiers of Prince George's County. In Prince George's County, there are over 60,000 veterans, and their influence cannot be denied. I think we were really the part to prove to someone that blacks, yes, could in fact fight. Why can't you fly a plane? Why can't you drive a tank or be part of any type of thing that was part of the combat? I think the importance is that it lets our young black men and women know you have a goal in mind. The only excuse for not obtaining that goal is yourself because the opportunities are out there. You have to make the choice to want to do it. I think about those that fought in World War I and World War II and the Korean conflict and the difficulties they had uh, during their lifetimes. I see myself standing on the shoulders of those that served before me. And I am trying to hold up those that came after me. I think a lot of people um, underestimate uh, black people they don't understand our strength, our honor, and how we're determined to serve our country. And that's one of the things that uh, I live by. I'm just participating in or, or uh, basking in the fruits that they've, that they've uh, put out there for us to, to enjoy. Vintage Visions offered a visual history of African-American images in film and cinema through promotional posters from 1915 to the black exploitation films of the 1970s. These posters exemplify struggles that black Americans have had with a rapidly expanding image, often unreconciled with reality. With this exhibition, the history of the African-American image in film is celebrated and critiqued through vintage film posters. The black pride of dick is a sex machine to all the chicks. Damn right. Oh, super fly. You're gonna make your fortune back and back. But if you lose, don't ask no questions why. The only game you know is to or die. Resonant Forms was a group exhibition of contemporary African-American artists, Alonzo Davis, Martha Jackson Jarvis, and Frank Smith. The works are both vibrant and natural. Each artist used subject found in nature to create movement. Resonant Forms was a unique look at contemporary African-American art through the lens of abstraction. Today, the very definition of art is more fluid and open. It borrows from a variety of traditional ethnic cultures combined with the artistic styles of the past. This trend can also be found in the music of the 80s, 90s, and today. The Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center will continue to engage the community through innovative exhibitions, engaging programs, and interactive educational outreach projects. By celebrating our stories, our heritage, and our songs, Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center 
brings to life the motto, music is our culture.